just bought a Pixel 6a and got a case for that. And uh, this case is B Lab case. Here it said uh, it raised lip protections, fingerprint resistant, non sleep material, sh shock resistant in the back. Here's all these things like all side protection, multi layer defense. Anti slippery design, sharp absorption, scratch resistant, and it's a precise fit. So it's made by B Labs. So I'm opening up. So here's the case uh, look like. Yes, show you how to uh, put the case on and the screen protector. It should come with the screen protector. Okay, here has the uh, wipe, the cleaning kit. And that's the case. Screen protector right here, and this is just a regular case. So you come with the case, the uh, wipe to clean the screen, the manual, and a screen protector, and just pretty thick, like piece of glass. It's not flimsy at all. So see how it goes. Let's look at the case of the phone. It has the plastic and the rubber part. The plastic part is mainly covering the edge of the phone. It goes all the way around the edge of the phone. And so when you drop the phone mainly on, on the side and hit the, the edge, it try to help to protect the phone from cracking. Then you have the rubber portion this one has the rubber portion only on the edge so what it does is absorb the energy transfer it to the case and it's protect it to uh, by the plastic casing and this one also has a plastic portion of that to cover the back of the phone so from so you protect the phone when you drop on the, on the back and transfer the energy to the side and when you drop on the bag, you try to cover the back of the phone from cracking. So this case, compared to the one I have, see, the difference is this only has partial cover on the edge. So when you drop, it does not absorb all the energy, it just stops here. And most of the time when I drop the phone, the part that break is here, it broke. So this kind of case is the disadvantage is it is not has all doesn't have all the cover on the edges of the phone. And the rubber part is the only thing that partially cover are the rubber part on the edges. Compared to this one has the hot cover plastic on all the edges and the soft rubber part cover the whole edges of the phone so this one has a much more better protection when you drop the phone compared to uh, a different version of covering and i prefer uh, this one compared to the other one that you can buy so anyway that's the uh, let me show you how to put the case on the phone so this phone has on the side has a volume uh, rocker, a power button, and it matches the one here. So you put it on like this. Pretty simple. So after that, you put in the, the rubber casing 
and here you see this part on top and the opening right there just put in like a glove push in push in make sure all the edges tight and then how does this look like after you put in and it's the bottom there's the uh, the top, there's the front, and also I already put the uh, screen protector on it. And what it does is when you drop the phone, it's pretty solid. On the back of the phone, here, yeah, the back of the phone has the uh, this part, and this part is. Lock it in here, and so you can put your phone like this and watch movie while you are sitting on the desk or on the table. Next, I'm going to do is uh, find out the size of the phone without the case and the size of the phone with the case. So what I'm going to do is to draw a line, the outline of the phone, see how big the phone is, original without the case, which different color. So that's the phone. The size of the phone is uh see how big it is. It's about about six a little bit more six point about six inches, which is how many is mm? So about fifteen point four centimeters. And uh the width is about two and three quarter inches which is seven centimeters I'm put the uh, the one the case and compare the side with the one that case now I'm gonna draw a line see how big the case make the phone look like so let's see I'll take it out so you see how the case makes the phone look like bigger uh they're much bigger see how much bigger it is let's see how bigger it makes the phone look like the width is around three inches long which is also eight centimeter and it, the length is nine and a quarter which is sixteen centimeter so how much bigger is the width is around five centimeter longer and the length is around also five centimeter longer in general so make it a little bit bulkier when you put it in your pocket oh, of course the uh, the thickness is a lot thicker with the case on because help the main thing is to help protect the phone when you drop because to take out the phone here this case has an opening at the bottom I just on the right corner of the bottom and you have used some of your finger now and then pull it down either the plastic thing come out first and the rubber thing it's kind of tight on this uh, so just be careful don't break anything so he come out and the plastic things is pretty easy. Come on like that, so 
Let's see how much the case weight. 2.4 ounce. Now I have the screen protector. 2.8 ounces total. Okay, with the case, now we can access your power button. Your volume rocker up and down, no problems. Uh, I have the phone turned off, but you can hear the sound. So it matches the uh, the phone exactly. At the bottom, you have the uh, opening for your power supply and the two speaker. And on the top is the another hole here. General, so overall, is a pretty solid case for the Pixel 6a. That's the review of the uh, Pixel 6a case. Thank you for watching.